Hi kids, and welcome to Animal Tales, Life Lesson Season 6. Correct. And we're waiting for the mail to come so we can start today's episode. Come in. Here's your letter, John. Whoa. Well, thank you, Phony. You're welcome. Okay, gotta go. Right, bye. Bye. Now, this letter is from Finn Beginners from Lafayette, Louisiana. And it says, Dear John and Connie, my parents did not want to support my dreams. They want me to follow their dreams until they realize to always follow your dreams. What should I do? From, from Finn. Well, Finn, are you saying, like, your parents, you want to, what do you want to be? You didn't tell me in the letter. Oh, I didn't finish reading the letter. Well, Finn, it says you wanted to be a movie star and your parents wanted you to be a doctor. Yeah, I think you should follow your own dreams if, and, not, and not anyone else's. Yeah, and your parents, and we want you to follow your dreams. You can't live your life following your parents' dreams. Nope. So how should we help him? Who's that? Hi, can I try? You got something for us, Joe? Yeah. It's the, okay. Scoot, scoot over, John. Okay. A girl sleeping in her bed. There was a girl sleeping in his bed, right? And then she was dreaming. She followed her dream. She jumped in her dream and followed it. And she didn't get out of it till morning. She explored it. And she got some sleep in the morning because she didn't got some sleep, get some sleep at night. So in the morning, she got some rest. Is that an example of following your dreams? Uh, none of that even makes sense. We asked her letters about the kids having problems listening to their parents. Or maybe God doesn't think, maybe he, they don't think God don't make them special anymore because of what they did wrong. That doesn't even make sense, Joe. Thanks for trying, though. No problem. Check this one out. Finn. Our, our baby. Our baby's on his way. I'm really excited. Guess what? What? Look, I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yeah. Aren't you excited? No. What's wrong? We can't afford to have a baby right now. We have a business, remember? Business? What does business have to do with this? You know me and you have a business? Yeah, we have a business. We can't afford to have a baby right now. Why not? We just we don't have, we don't have them. We can't we can't afford to have one. We have to take care of our business more. I want you to take. I want to take care of our business. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with this right now. You don't. You're not excited. No. Tomorrow morning, we are going to the clinic. What are you saying? You think this is okay, but it's not to me. Why don't you want to follow my dream? This is not about dreams. And listen, listen. We are, I don't, I didn't want a kid in the first place. I didn't want one. I wanted to be, I wanted to be just us. It still will be just us. It wouldn't. But, good night. <sighs> in the morning. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes! Don't want a kid. Come on. Come on, this baby will be fun. Can we go back home? No. I'll give you, I'll give you some options. It's either our business or this baby. Pick one. But that's hard to choose. Can we do both? No! That is why we're going to the clinic. We can't have a baby. Maybe, maybe, 
maybe you, if you were single, you can have a baby. <laughs> Listen, what now? Look, I was too busy living my life, trying to wanted to follow, wanting to follow your dreams. Ugh. But I can't do that. Stop the car. I think I want to get out. You can keep your business, but me, me, and this, but me and this baby are just gonna sit on this bench and wait for a bus to go to go home. Trevor is now alone. He drives back home angrily. He's running low on bills and payment. And he didn't pay it, so he ended up getting evicted. He ended up living on the streets begging for food and money. Begging, begging for money to buy food. People give change to him, and some people didn't. A few years has passed, and Trevor's life went uphill again because he was able to pay on. He was. Trevor's life may be going uphill again because he's just renting a hotel room for now. And he happened to run into his ex. Hi. Oh, hi, Trevor. How's life been going? Things has been rough without you. I want you to move back in with me. Move back in with you? Yeah. Is that our son? Uh, no. This is actually my new husband. New husband? Why didn't you want to move back in with me? No. I just needed to find a man who would follow my dreams. And I'll always support your dreams. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Look, I was wrong about everything. Are you sure we can't try this again? Uh, we appreciate the offer, but I don't think it will ever work out. Bye. Have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day. <sighs> I should have followed her dreams. I should have followed her dreams. <laughs> You like it, Joe? Yeah, I liked it so much. I like the story. Me too. Well, we answered friend's question with today's life lessons episode. Yeah, we did. And we oh, I think we're doing a good job with our with our show. I think so too. So is that what you meant by follow your dreams? Yeah, like if you want to be a doc a comedian. Then if you listen, Connie, if you want to be a comedian or somebody, I'll always support your dreams. I'll support yours too, John. <laughs> we can't follow each other's dreams. We have to follow our own. Yeah, we have to follow our own. Well, thanks for watching today's episode, kids. Goodbye.